Hi, welcome back. I did something today that I think is pretty cool and I wanted to share it with you. You know the, the GoPro? You know that you can get a GoPro and turn it into a naked GoPro like this one. It goes from, I don't know, 100 and something, 200 grams to 30 grams, right? But when you do this, you lose the screen. And then it's a little bit complicated to configure this camera before you fly. And recently GoPro did some uh, update on the app that makes it also complicated. The, the configuration of certain uh, settings cannot be done through the GoPro app, but there are other apps that can help you, but those other apps don't have Wi-Fi connectivity and then you cannot see the preview. So still, you miss and it's something good, you, you, you miss the, the, cam the, the screen. So I went to the internet, I found some interesting projects. Uh, one of them was to get the screen and turn it into this model. You see here, a model that you can just connect to this one like this. And then you have the camera, the screen, you can configure it. Uh, you remove this and then you fly. And I'm gonna show you how I got this here, which is the interesting part. Okay, I'm gonna play all this very fast because it's not interesting to see the details, but you will have the information here. So you can slow down the video if you need to check how to actually remove one part. Um, the important thing here is that you are supposed to take out by brute force uh, the case. You're gonna break the case until you get to a part that is just the screen and you can gently remove the borders to be able to have only the screen. Then you cut very, very careful with the ribbon cables. Uh, if you want to save all the other pieces like the microphone, the buttons and so on, be careful with them too, but uh, it's up to you. Right. The idea again is to, to strip down the screen from here, but from the back to the front. There is one part that you have to be a little bit careful is when you are behind the ribbon cables. Uh, the metal for the piece that is holding the button has like four bolts. You cannot unscrew, you cannot do anything than, than force. You, you pull the button electronics away from the case. and be very careful because if you pull too hard you can damage the the ribbon cables then you're gonna get to almost just the screen and then carefully you can start kind of like peeling the border i i i felt that you could get your your tool uh, like in diagonal and cut and pull pieces I also realized at a certain point that the, I needed a better tool, like a more delicate tool. That's why I changed my clippers and, and now I can get like really close to, to the screen and just remove the, the plastic. The case, I found it on the internet. I'm gonna put the, the link to the, to the Thingiverse piece uh, on the description. You can print it on PLA and then you just have to route the cables correctly to align the two pieces of the case. I'm sorry that it's a little bit out of focus here, but it was complicated to, to film this. The screen itself, I'm just gluing it to the PLA case, and then you use four small screws to uh, get together those two pieces. The most difficult part of this project was actually to align these connectors so they can actually go in and um, clip on the on the naked GoPro case. You have it's two ribbons cables, right? And they have to be straight. They have to be aligned. Here you can see the final product. You see how it, it uh, snaps into the other case. Uh, as I said, I use a double side tape so the, the ribbon cable stays in place and they are aligned so they can connect to the naked GoPro case. 
and I'm gonna test it. You turn it on, you see, image, and everything is working. Now you can easily configure your GoPro before flying and then just snap out the screen. Cool, right? Now, this is not a project that I invented or anything like that. Everything is from the internet. I have links on the description and I'm thanking everyone that put a lot of time into this to make it possible. Thank you for watching and see you soon again.